Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Michael Wagaman Golf. We're out here at Goat Hill Park in beautiful Oceanside, California. First time here, so we're gonna do a little course vlog for you. All right, here we go, Goat Hill Park. A little tee shot with a five iron that just trickled into the left rough but got it up on the green with a 60 degree wedge. Everyone's favorite, little Benny Hill putting for you today. Thank you, Benny Hill. Aaron and Josh playing with me today, and you can see by our reactions that none of us really liked our tee shots on this hole. I missed this way right of the green, and as you can see, my chipping is leaving a lot to be desired right now. Something to work on. Probably my best shot of the day here, using the driving iron. About a 50 yard pitch that just runs through to the back fringe. Easy putting though. This was a fun hole. It was about a 200 yard forced layup blind that leaves you a good wedge in and you do not want to be short. It will drop down into this little canyon. As you can see, none of us hit this green. Josh and I ended up short, had to chip on. Aaron was a little bit long and had a fun little downhill chip to get close to the hole.
This was probably the toughest green to hit that day, just because the sheer size of it and just the way it's cut to the side of the hill. I don't think any of us made this green and I ended up way down the hill to the right. Once again, my short game is just atrocious. temporary tee box on six. They had just resodded the real tee box so we ended up on a mat down below. Game wrangle's a little low. This shot is not as blind as this makes it look. But for some reason, there was a magnet in that tree up on the right because we all hit right at it. In case you can hear this, that is what all the noise is. We're a little close to the freeway. And here's another demonstration of my short game mastery lately. Number eight looked a lot skinnier than it was from the tee box, but I decided to hit it that tree on the right anyway. Yeah, that one. Left myself a nice little punchy foyer to get back in play. But I got in the middle of the fairway. Finally hit a good approach into a green. Managed to save my par. For some reason, we all think that that hand waving is going to make the ball actually get a little bit closer to the hole. It never does. Thanks for watching part one. Hit that thumbs up if you like this video and please subscribe and hit that bell notification so you can check out part two.